ABC 10's Morgan Reiner covers all things politics. And Morgan, California would be the first in the nation to take this step, right? Chris, you know the saying, so goes California, so goes the nation. That's the message Newsom shared today. If the legislature passes this, all eyes will be on California to see if it is successful. But of course, something of this magnitude has plenty of opposition. Well, I campaign on universal health care. We're delivering that. Newsom in Kern County Tuesday promoting his new health care for all plan. For those, it's like clockwork that are critical of this proposal, I would only offer this. We have universal health care in this state and in this country, but it's on the back end. It's called the emergency room, and it's costing you, the taxpayer, a fortune. That message directed at people like Republican Assemblymember Tom Lackey, who represents Kern County. He sits on the budget committee. I think it's a dishonest proposal because it it's giving false promises and we're not even talking about the cost, which is the most glaring challenge that uh, faces our public health care crisis. According to the governor's proposal, it will cost taxpayers $2.7 billion a year. Not even close. No, it's not even close to, to realistically covering what they're indicating it's going to cover. It's why he wants the legislative analyst's office to run a cost analysis. The pandemic, if it's shown us anything, it's that our health is really interconnected. You know, one of us being healthy, it means all of us being able to be healthy. Sara Dar is with the California Immigrant Policy Center. She said the rest of the country should pay attention. California has led the way on so many issues across the board, um, beyond just healthcare, beyond just, you know, immigrant rights. Um, and so we're excited for other states to follow suit. This universal health care plan is different from Obamacare or covered California, which only applies to legal residents. It changes people's lives to be able to get access to comprehensive health care in this way. Chris, California already covers health care costs for low income people younger than 26 and those over 50. This closes the gap to include all ages. Sara Dar added that since those first parts were implemented, there's been no evidence that people come to California to get health insurance. Mm -hmm. Some good perspective. Morgan Reiner starting us off tonight. Morgan, thank you.